Jared and Brandon came into town for the day, and since Jared hadn't flown in 991 before, we decided to take a quick morning flight in it. Yeah, check, check, I hear you. Yeah, you may want to turn your squelch down because mine opens up real easy. It's an automatic squelch, it takes a minute to adjust. So. Oh, okay. Okay, avionics master on, recording devices are already set, and the time currently is 9.40. ATIS. Alright, 120.82. Let me get queued up on the iPad here. Okay. San Marcus Tower, ATIS information, Charlie. And if you want to take it out of the case, one, three, it'll four, fit. Five, well, it's in that one, one, yeah. Visibility one zero. But you gotta flip it upside down. Temperature 2.17, altimeter 3011. Thank Visual you. approaching use, landing and departing runway 35. Advise on initial contact, give information it's tight. to Charlie. She said. <laughs> what am I doing wrong here? Then you just kinda let it, it's got a roller and it'll go over it. Yeah. Time okay. 1345 Zulu, what call. Go. Visibility 10. Sky clear below 12,000. Temperature 20, dew point 17, altimeter 3011. Visual approaching use, landing and departing runway 35. Advise on initial contact, give information, Charlie. Alright, information, Charlie. Alright, and you can feel free to listen to it again if you need to. No, I'm good. Okay. So, you're on ground. What I would do, I would go ahead and pull up here. And that's the movement area line, and you can fit in between the hangars and the movement area line if you just follow this second grout line right here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so go ahead and start turning right. Yeah, this grout line right here. Oh, okay, I see what you're yeah, Put the about. nose gear on that grout line and you'll be clear. Keep an eye on that right wing. Yeah, I got it. And then you can just pull up over here and kind of stop. And then uh, hold around. And what are we? 80991? 80991, yeah. Alright. And where the heck are we? San Marcos? Yeah. So I came prepared for this flight today. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's right. Yeah, San Marcos ground. We're over here at the T hangars. Custom 172. We're going to go westbound VFR. Okay. Information, Charlie. And San Marcus Ground Cessna 80991 is holding short of the uh, T hangars over here, and we're going to be doing a VFR departure to the west. I'd like to taxi to the active. Hi, right, calling ground for a VFR departure to the west. Missed your number. Say it again. Yes, sir. It's uh, 80991 Cessna 172. Cessna so 80911, ground roger. One way 8, taxi V Alpha, winds are 3 knots or less. Taxi V Alpha 8, just a correction, it's 80991 Cessna. Roger, copy. 80911. Or 991. Alright, let's get over to uh, tower. tower. Yeah, you can just pull it behind him. Or kind of to the side of him. That'd be a fun airplane to fly. Yeah, it would. I'm gonna sound like an RV8 or something. It's an 8, yeah. Fully aerobatic. Like 160 knots. Wow. At the same fuel flow as this thing. Let me straighten these out. Yeah. Alright, let's see here. Cabin doors and windows, that's fine. Flight control's free. And correct. Flight instruments check and set. And that's good. That's good. That's good. Good. That's yeah. f***ed up, but I know it'll change again. That's because we pulled it out of the hangar and turned it. Morning, San Marcos. Out of running. Report to Charlie Sierra. Ready to go on eight. And good to go. Okay. A heading about runway three. Report to Charlie Sierra. San Marcos Tower. Good morning, runway eight. Clear for takeoff. Let's see. Make sure. Ready to go on course. Report to Charlie Sierra. A little bit more throttle. 1700. I don't set the parking brake on this. I just hold it. Yeah. Okay, 1700 RPM mag drop, should be less than 125. Left mag, good. Yeah, good, little rough. We can clear yeah. that out. Carpet check for RPM drop. Yep, 
it works. Engine instruments in ammeter, check. Engine instruments in the green. Get good fuel flow. Landing light, cycle for amp drop. That's new. Oh yeah, no, that's uh, it's an LED, so it's not going to do it. Okay. So what, I, what I'll do is just kill the alternator, which is the left one. Yeah, you get an amp drop. Okay. And the warning light works. Yep. Suction gauge check is there. Yep, you've got good suction. And throttle fiction lock is good. And then go ahead and pull it all the way back to idle. Oh, you check the idle? Yeah. Okay. And we get a warning light on the vacuum. Yep. Okay. Cool. Alrighty. Throttle fiction lock flap set. Uh, you don't take off with flaps, right? No. Okay, and they're all the way up. Uh -huh. Now on these flaps, I see your switch is a little different. You gotta hold them down. Okay. And so uh, it's like 1 1000, 2 1000, 3 1000. That's about 10 degrees. <laughs> and then right. another, another three seconds for 20, and then a full four seconds for full flaps. Got it. Flaps I, emergency. I rarely land with full flaps. Okay. Departure right, plans. Charlie Sierra, contact Austin approach. Take off checklist for you. Radios. We're good to go there. Tower. Not yet. Let me just review the airspace real quick. Okay. And you want to go where? To the north? So we're going to go to the west. Here's Canyon Lake. We're just going to bump out here, maybe loop around it, and then City of San Marcos, and then. Well, back into the airport. All right, sounds cool. Good. Yep. All right, and we're on tower. And said Marcus Tower, Cessna 80991. Hold short of Alpha, ready to go full length. Full length short of eight. Cessna 80991, San Marcus Tower, runway eight, cleared for takeoff. Proceed on course. It'll be a left or right turn out your choice. Okay, clear for takeoff runway, and uh, we'll probably just end up doing a left takeout. We're going northwest VFR for 80991. Okay. Alright. Alright. Fuel caps, oil caps, windows, doors, baggage compartment. Good to go. Lights. Yes. Monitor altitude, carpet cold, mixture rich flaps are up. Fuel selectors on both. Control yep. our information, Delta current on the A to the SM market. Cameras, action. Alright. Transponder. No one down the runway, no one on final. Good to go. And I always just double check the gyro. I will. Yeah. Should have brought my glasses. Oh, fancy. Yeah. Alright, gyro's good. Engine instruments in the green. Here we go. Airspeed is alive. Engine instruments in the green. She wants to climb today. Oh yeah. Good density altitude. Alright, go up to 2,000? Yeah, we'll do 2,000. Yeah, we'll do 2,500 actually. The lake terrain over there comes up a little bit. Let's go. Oh, the haze is starting to build up a little bit. This morning it was so freaking clear. Yeah. Yeah, I like your plane. Oh, thank you. It's we try and take really good care of it. They said that it was it was. Okay, gonna so change. what is this thing showing me here? So the top number is always your fuel flow. So okay. we're doing seven and a half or seven or eight gallons an hour right now. It cycles through, so that's remaining. We have seventeen point three gallons remaining. In order to get to well, that's just hours and minutes okay. remaining. So two hours eleven minutes. And then this is giving us an error code because it's linked to the 430, so if we had a destination in here, oh, okay. it would say how much is required to get there and how much reserve we'll have when we get there. Oh, cool. All right, so then do you have an EGT in here as well? No, I don't. Oh, these are the only engine instruments. Gotcha. So I want to get an EGT put over here. Yeah, or, or somewhere. Right or there. Yeah. I think I might, might put the autopilot there. Oh, okay. Burning some brush down. Air approach, station air 2145, Romeo 4500, we have Yankee. Melvin 2145, Romeo San Antonio approach, welcome. We got on terrain. Oh, yeah. Okay. To the VOR, 45 Romeo. This says we're doing 108 miles an hour over the ground. 
I've got 94. That's knots, is miles per hour. Oh. Yeah, this one says 94 knots. Okay. I just always like to compare. Does that time. thing get GPS in it? Yeah. Oh, fancy. Also got a D meter. Oh, look at that. That's like basically a full six pack, but it's going off of your ground track. And GPS. Ground speed, GPS altitude, but it's also got an inclinometer, so you can center the ball too. I mean, for a thousand bucks, I thought it was pretty worth it for the amount of IFR that I do. Especially winter coming. Have a lot more low ceilings and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, because you haven't had your IFR that long. Uh, about a year. I got it last September. Okay. Yeah, so not too incredibly long. Whenever you're ready, you can start your left turn. Cool. Just kind of go gradual over the lake here. Oh, yeah. That'll work. Yeah, it definitely turned out to be a nice morning. Oh, yeah. I thought, you know, by 10 a.m. it would start to get a little bumpy, but it's freaking smooth as glass. Yeah, it is. I don't know, I, fall might be my favorite season. To fly? Yeah. Because you're not to the point where it's shitty weather constantly, but you get these nice cool mornings and it's, like, even the lake yeah. is like glass right now. There's traffic behind us, ordering 1,300 feet below. Okay. You see what, uh, what, is? what his speed is? Skyline same. 529, November contact, Houston. Yeah, same as us. 32.8, 32.8. Over to Houston on 32.8, this is November, you have a good day. Still converging, or he's, he's still a ways out. Well, this guy's 3,000 feet above us, and he's over there. And he's still 10 miles. I'm Tango Sierra, you're following a Mooney that's short final. He's uh, got power problems, and um, be ready yep. for a go around if he has to shut down on the runway. Sweet. Uh, Tango Sierra, it's right, Wilco. And San Marcos Tower Cessna 80991, we're about 15 to the west, inbound for a full stop. This is 80991, San Marcos Tower, make straight in runway 2, correction runway 8, report 3 mile final. Straight in runway 8, we'll report that 3 mile, 80991. It's already, uh, building landed in the grass on the east side of the runway. Okay, yeah, thank you. And uh, 9 Tango Sierra, go around. Right, 9 Tango Sierra, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll uh, line with the runway. San Marcos Tower, Mooney 6180 Alpha. I don't know if that's the guy. Yeah, I see the airport. Mooney 6188 Alpha, San Marcos Tower. Yeah, Mooney 6188 Alpha is 7 miles yeah, to the south, inbound for the option yeah. with Delta. Yeah, that's what mine does too. Move 6188 Alpha, make straight into runway 35, report 3 mile final after your option. What are your intentions? Uh, we're going to be doing a couple touch and goes. I would aim just okay. to the right of the campus we right there. Okay. And then that'll put the final. campus just on the left we're side for that camera, up. just a pretty shot. Okay. And then uh, that'll pretty much put you straight in for runway 8. Uh, 599, Tango Sierra is up. Tango Sierra, what are your intentions now? 99, Tango Sierra, we're like touch and go. Nine Tango Sierra, make right close traffic, report midfield down one. Right close traffic, midfield down one for nine nine Tango Sierra. This is nine four two San Marcos, you on frequency? Yeah, you can probably report two I will. miles. Whatever. We're still about four, maybe five out. 
Okay, Tower Cessna 80991 reporting three miles. Cessna 9901, runway 8 cleared to land. Your runway 8 cleared to land, 9901, thank you. There's a dead spot out here somewhere where they just like don't hear you for some reason. No, no shit. I've gotten yelled at a few times by them where I'm like, look man, like I was calling you. I can hear you. There's a vehicle gonna cross for the approach in in front of me there. Roger that, we got him in sight, 991. Yeah. So that's a back 10. I would come and bring all the way back to idle. I'll just side slip it. Kenya 1, Romeo Mike, contact Austin, departure. See you later, 1, Romeo Mike, right? Got this. <laughs> when I first learned how to do slips, I hated them. Oh, really? They yeah, feel weird, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, once you get down here and level out, it'll really bleed speed fast. So you're good. The biggest thing I always worry about when I do stuff like that is that secondary stall. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah. That's why, like, I usually start to round out and then just bring in a scotch of power and it'll settle, right? It's definitely cool to be able to head out to the airport and go fly on a cool fall morning before class, and this turned out to be a pretty perfect morning for it. Though it was a short flight, Jared and I had a good time taking a lap around Canyon Lake, and just like with every other flight, it was hard to head to class afterwards because all I wanted to do was go back to the airport and go fly again.